most men think being attractive requires genetics. This is wrong because everyone, including me, starts at a one. So today, I will give you nine guaranteed methods to make you attractive and just require discipline. And if you listen to me and apply them all, I will take you from a one to a 10. Starting with number one, build the masculine physique with the big three workout. If you're starting at a one, a great physique will take you to a two. According to a recent study, the most attractive physical attributes on a man are chest, back, and arms, which increases your shoulder to waist ratio. So here is how you do the big three workout, which will give you results in as little as three months according to a recent study. The big three workout is when you only do bench press, deadlifts, and squats. These are compound lifts, which use multiple muscle groups, which are proven to be the most effective at increasing muscle and strength. So to do a basic routine is I want you to bench press on Monday, deadlift on Wednesday, and squat on Friday, all for five sets of five reps with your main goal of increasing weight or reps week after week. Number two, improve your style with the best color for you. Most men overcomplicate fashion. Just focusing on one single color can take you from a two to a three. In a study conducted by a fashion designer, models wearing different colors were shown to a group of participants. Researchers found that 64% of both men and women found that the color black conveyed the most dominance amongst all others. So I want you to create a wardrobe that focuses on high quality black pieces. And to add a little more style and contrast so it doesn't look so bland, pair that outfit with white sneakers and then add jewelry that complements your skin tone and you'll easily go from a two to a three. Number three, enhance your masculinity by growing a beard. If you want to go from being a three to a four, you'll need to grow your facial hair. According to a study by the Science Journal, male faces with some form of facial hair were always voted as more attractive when compared to those faces without facial hair. But growing facial hair is not easy for everyone. As a matter of fact, for me, it was very difficult until I applied this three-step procedure. First, I use a derma roller to activate inactive hair follicles. All of you have hair follicles in your face. The problem is some of those are inactive. A derma roller has been scientifically proven to help activate these follicles by causing microscopic tears on your skin. This forces your skin and hair to go into a regeneration process, which is what causes inactive hair follicles to become active. Now, the key here is to use a derma roller that's around five millimeters in length in the needle size. The one that I specifically use is from Copenhagen Grooming as they design these specifically for your face and for beard growth. Now, this also primes your skin for step number two, which is that you need some sort of activator to speed up the process of taking an inactive hair follicle to becoming active. Now, the most famous activator is minoxidil. The problem with minoxidil, which I've used, is that it has some serious side effects that are uncomfortable. So for me, I focus on a natural root called Capilla longa, which according to a study from the National Library of Medicine, it has been found to induce hair growth, and in some other studies, has been found to do so and be just as effective as minoxidil without any side effects because it is a natural ingredient. So once I'm done using my derma roller, I grab my beard activator. This is also from Copenhagen Grooming. As their formulation, I found to be the most potent when it comes to that Capilla Longa ingredient that they also have. And I apply it daily after causing those microscopic tears with the derma roller. And my third step is my supplementation. The most important one is biotin. The supplement that I take has 10,000% more than the daily recommended amount to supercharge the process of taking an inactive hair follicle and making it active. But you see, I want you to become a 10 so much that I'm gonna pay you $10,000 to do so. But you have to put the tips that I'm telling you into practice. I wanna see that transformation. See, I teamed up with Copenhagen Grumman and we're hosting a competition over the next five months to show the transformation that beard growth can have on your face and on your attractiveness. And here's the key, you and I, We'll be doing this together. I already do this every morning, but I'm gonna do it as well. We'll take a picture before, and then a picture after the five months to see the transformation. Because I want to show you firsthand 
that with a little bit of discipline, you can truly change how you look, and then I'm gonna pay you for it. Whoever has the best beard transformation will be winning $10,000 from me to you, and all you gotta do, click the link down below. You can check out Copenhagen Grooming, so you can join our movement, start being disciplined day in and day out, and see the transformative power of growing a beard. If you guys wanna check Copenhagen Grooming, and join this challenge with me to show you that being attractive is discipline and not genetics, click the link down below, get your kit, and join me daily to look better. Now I want you to understand something. Using the Big 3 workout to develop a masculine physique, upgrading your style, and developing a beard will take you from a 1 to a 4. But this is still not enough to get girls to like you. You're still below average. So to go from a 4 to a 7, you'll need to move on to step number 4. Become charismatic with the spokes method. When you work on your charisma, you're guaranteed to go from a 4 to a 5. During a study conducted by PsychNet, social confidence was deemed to be the most attractive trait women found in men. Now the key to do this right is to just keep her talking. Because according to another study, talking about ourselves activates the same part of our brain that gets activated when you eat good food or have sex. Boys, I'm giving you advice that's scientifically backed because I don't want you to fail. So to keep her talking, you will use the spokes method. I want you to imagine a conversation with a girl like a wheel on a bike. The center of the wheel is the topic that you're currently talking about, while each spoke represents a path to another topic. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're talking about a specific influencer or celebrity that she likes. Even if you don't know who that celebrity is, that's the topic. A spokes can be, what does that celebrity or influencer do? And that task that she does is a whole new topic, which can create a new wheel. This spokes method will keep her talking and make you look socially confident. Number five, elevate your status by focusing on one thing. To go from a five to a six, you need to develop competence in a singular skill. You see, the average man is all over the place. They'll start this hustle, and this hustle, and this hustle. Every time one fails, they're on to the next one. They never become competent on anything. And this is exactly what makes them unattractive to women, as shown in a study by Springer. So here's how to do it with the one thing that was popularized in a book by Gary Keller. I want you to sit down and write everything that you're currently doing with your time. Then, I want you to pick out one thing that has the perfect balance of enjoyment and earning potential. Then, I want you to remove everything else out of your life and hyper-focus on that one thing for the next 10 years. Which takes me to number six, monetizing the one thing to increase your perceived value. Now, to go from a six to a seven, you need to build wealth and you'll do so by monetizing that one thing. Most of you, when you heard me say 10 years, you might have turned off, but you don't understand that as you monetize and earn from that one thing, you will continue to stay motivated to do it longer and longer. You become competent. First, you will start offering your one thing online as a skill to businesses to build up your portfolio. Second, once you have completed three free jobs, I want you to find seven clients using that new portfolio and charge them $10 an hour. Third, you will then increase your prices by $10, find 10 more clients, and continue to do so until you're charging $100 an hour. Your ultimate goal is to work 20 hours a week at that price. By working 20 hours a week at a rate of $100 per hour, you'll be earning around $2,000 a week, which will net you $104,000 a year, and this, will mean that you earn more than 90% of women, which is exactly what they want, taking you from a six to a seven. Now think about it. You have now improved your physique with the three big lifts. You have now improved your style. You've also improved your facial structure. You have more charisma. You're highly skilled in one area. And you're a top earner, which means by this point, you've now gone from a one to a seven. This will get interest from girls. But if you want them to love you, to be obsessed with you, you need to get all the way up to 10, which is what the last three points will do for you. Number seven, you will increase your desirability by working for a higher purpose. 
You see, most men work to just keep all the money to themselves. But to go from a 7 to an 8, doing that is completely wrong. During a study with 285 female participants, women were shown three scenarios. The first was a man giving a homeless person $30. The second was a man giving a homeless person $1. And the last scenario was a man giving a homeless person nothing. Every single female participant found the man they gave the homeless person $30 the most attractive. Now, I'm not saying you should go and give away all your money or do it just to get women's attraction. But I am saying that you should work for a higher purpose, to become a more desirable individual. You can start volunteering in a homeless shelter. You can offer that one skill set that you have free to charities. Or it could be as simple as just being kind to those that are in less favorable positions. Then you're going to come across as kind, which is not to be confused as the nice guy, which will set you up for the next point. Number eight, increase the value of your word to show trust and reliability. See, the phrase that goes, a man of his word, it's not just a phrase. It's what's going to get you from an eight to a nine. Researchers found that the distinction between a high and low quality man for a woman lies in their ability to keep their word and fulfill their promises. So here's how to increase the value of your word. Stop giving it away. Stop making promises. Those are empty words and become a man of action. If you want to lose weight, don't tell everyone, oh, I'm going to do it. Just do it and then tell them about your results. If you want to make more money, don't just talk about it, do it. If you want to become more attractive, get more women. Don't talk about it, do it. And then talk about the results. Now, all of these steps have culminated to this last point. If you do all nine, you will be prepared to be able to complete this last step. Number 10, you will manage your emotions to make girls fall in love with you. Learning to manage emotions is how you go from a 9 to a 10. Because according to a recent study, women are most attracted to those men who don't show their emotions. So I need you to develop an internal control mechanism. You see, most men are controlled by external factors. For example, a man of low quality gets mad when a girl doesn't text him back or doesn't call him back or something doesn't go his way. As soon as she sees that, she will know that you're an emotional man. But think about the guy that gets the girl. What happens when the girl doesn't respond back or when things don't go his way? He always remains cool. He remains unfazed. And when you're able to achieve that because you understand your value, you understand how attractive you are, you become so desirable, women fall in love with you. And like I promised you in the beginning, attractiveness is not genetics, it's discipline. It takes time. And if you were to do everything I told you for a few weeks, for a few months, for even a year, you would be completely different. If you want to continue to level up, I'll leave you two more videos here to check out.